Senator Marco Rubio was in Tampa today, taking part in a roundtable discussion at Port Tampa Bay. Uh, the discussion, which centered on supply chain issues, focused less on who or what's to blame and more on the strategies needed to solve those problems in the future. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser explains why the port is an important part of that discussion that everything we buy and depend on comes from somewhere. U.S. Senator Marco Rubio taking part in a roundtable discussion today at Port Tampa Bay, specifically on the topic of supply chain issues brought about by the pandemic and how ports like Port Tampa Bay could be uniquely positioned to help address those bottlenecks at the nation's larger ports. Port Tampa Bay is not just geographically positioned to benefit from it, but they have a strategic vision and a supporting state government and local community. Rubio and panel members spoke on a wide range of topics underscoring America's vulnerability to supply chain shortages exposed by COVID-19. A dependence on foreign imports and key components that Rubio suggested could be manufactured here, or at least in the Western Hemisphere, making ports in Florida a logical choice for distribution and exports. Becoming a leader in shipbuilding and crane building, these are strategic things that I think position the port to continue to grow and expand in its relevance and importance. Some projects aimed at better positioning Port Tampa Bay are already in the works, deepening the channel to accommodate larger ships, for example. There's some things we can do right away that are deliverables, but there's some big picture long term things that are important to the Port of Tampa, but actually are important to America. Val Demings, Rubio's Democratic challenger in the upcoming election, also pointed out Rubio had voted against the bipartisan infrastructure bill, helping to fund many of the projects and concepts the panel discussed. Why do I have to vote for a bill that has that garbage in it in order to get important projects for our state and our country, especially when the formula they're using to distribute the money hurts Florida? Port Tampa Bay is also touting itself as a smart place for ships to unload because 80% of the trucks that come to Florida from up north go back empty. Bring your cargo here, they said, and have a fleet in place, ready to distribute anywhere in the southeast. In Tampa, Eric Lasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Santa Ruby also said Port Tampa Bay's close proximity to I-4 also makes it a natural distribution point, not just for Florida, but the entire southeast region.